the island of Hvar, easily one of the best-known islands of the Croatian Adriatic, has been known since the antiquity due to its important strategic and nautical position, cultural and sacral monuments and uniquely beautiful nature. Thanks to a mild climate, warm winters and pleasant summers, the island is host to numerous guests, scientists and travellers who come here attracted to lush Mediterranean vegetation, great tradition and superb nightlife. Today, Kvar is considered to be one of the most beautiful islands in the world. The town of Yelsa is situated in a perfect spot for nautical tourism due to its extremely indented coast with numerous bays and islets. Evenings are especially fun as many yachtsmen moor at the Yelsa waterfront, eagerly anticipating stepping off the boat for a party or some of the great nearby restaurants or bars. Due to its elongated shape and location, the port is extremely well protected from the winds and the ships here are completely safe. Yelsa is an old settlement whose remains date back to far history. During the Middle Ages, the island was visited by numerous adventurers, biologists, ethnologists and archaeologists studying plants, minerals and ancient monuments. Walking through the old streets with many houses and details from the past is a unique pleasure. Walks by the sea, along walking trails or through pine woods are as delightful and gorgeous as roaming picturesque villages scattered over hills and valleys, full of Mediterranean vegetation and medicinal plants, with well-preserved rural architecture characterized by narrow streets and squares. One of more interesting traditions is following the cross procession, which has been going on for five centuries without missing out a single year. The procession begins each year on Good Thursday at exactly 10 p.m., with six processions simultaneously departing from the six parish churches in the central part of the island. The island of Shchedra is anchored off the southern coast of the island of Khwar, protected as a nature park in its pristine beauty with its many secluded coves it provides an exceptional experience for every visitor. And once you feel the charm of these quiet coves, the intoxicating sense of nature, with the glittering crystal clear sea in the summer sun, you will want to stay here forever. The coves of Shchedra have been known since ancient times as good anchorages and safe harbors. And some of the most famous battles have taken place in this area such as the one between Pompey and Caesar in the year 49 BC, as evidenced by numerous findings in the depths of the sea around Shchedra. Visitors of the Yelsa Municipal Museum can have quite a special look into the interior of a civic house from the late 19th and early 20th centuries. In the representative green lounge, there are nicely preserved walls painted in a typical late 19th century technique. Together with the exhibits from the cultural and historical collection, the space is visually organized in a harmonious way with artworks. The second floor, originally intended for dormitories, now serves as a classic gallery space where other works from the collection of graphics, paintings and reliefs are arranged in thematic units. The south side of the house, where the textile stall used to be on the ground floor, has been transformed into a gallery that holds occasional exhibitions. Opposite the museum is St. Ivan Square, the most beautiful square in a Renaissance Baroque style, with an octagonal church from the end of 17th century. The church is characterized by diversity of styles, 
Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque. The square and the street surrounding it were built from the 15th to the 17th century and they represent the most preserved architectural part of Yelsa. Together with the houses built from the 16th to the 20th century with Renaissance luminaries and balconies. <laughs> Members of the Yelsa Folklore Society did their best to dress in traditional folk costumes and show us their traditional dances and music. <laughs> We were mystically drawn by some of the best mouth-watering scents coming from the nearby park. Something's cooking. What's <laughs> cooking? Kuha se dalmatinska agregada. U Jelsi, to je spiza, riba sa povrće. Sjajno. To je jedna stara naša hrana koja je odvojila ovdje masu ljudi, jer je to, bila, a, to je bila hrana koja je odgojila ljude, jer je bilo puno familije, familije ovdje, imali su puno dice, vatali su ribu, nisu imali frižidera, nego su to sušili, onda se radi od suhe ribe, ista ova priča. A, a od suhe? E. Onda su stavljali u muškadure. Znate šta je muškadur? Ne. To je frižider koji ne radi na struju. Znate. <laughs> Kako je? To je četvrtasti komad i sa komarnikom je okolo obložen. Unutra se stavi riba sušena. Očisti se, rasplati, stavi se po soli, stavi se na buru. A, okay. I onda se to suši, suši. Tako su ljudi zadržavali da im bude friška riba jer nije bilo frižidera. Ima 40 kg ribe, ima 20 kg krumpira, ima 5-6 kg luka, ima petrusimula 3 kg. Ima 5-6 litara vina, ima 10-13 litara temeljca i tako dalje. Ima za jednu sto ljudi najmanje. 150 vista može i više. And where there's good food, there's surely good wine. You do the talking, I'm going to do the singing. <laughs> no, this is, this is pretty fantastic. Yes. So it is, it's very light. It's um, very easy to drink. It's a summer mm. wine. In, yeah, and what that was I was actually wanted to tell you. So, so Opal is a very... Um, <laughs> special wine for this kind of a season when it's too hot uh, when you are I don't know eating a steak and you want a glass of red wine but not red wine which will impress you which will give you the strong feeling you want opal opal is a wine from the grape called Plavac Mali which is a local ah, kind of grape I for know. the island part and for our part of Croatia called Dalmatia this is very nice it wouldn't express you wouldn't give you the strong feeling and you will just take glass again 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 and again and again and again okay <laughs> we're gonna have to do this again <laughs> apart from top quality wines the island of Hvar is also known for its superb olive oils uh, s nama je gospodin Đorđan, predsjednik uh, udruge maslinara Otoka Hvara. Đorđan, osim genijalnog imena, vi imate i sve informacije vezane za maslinarstvo na Otoku Hvaru. A pa, jasno da imam, jer sam e, dosta godina u tome. I od, od rođenja praktički, od, familija mi se bavi isto maslinarstvom i vinogodarstvom. I u, udruga maslinara Otoka Hvara ima oko 140 članova, znači od Sučurija do, do Hvara. E, mi smo udruženi u jednu organizaciju i tada promoviramo naša maslinova ulja, oblicu, našu dalmatinsku oblicu. A, da. I, to je naša glavna sorta. Imamo i još ovih dodatnih sorti, italijanskih takozvanih, ali oblica je naša, naša domaća sorta, levantinka i lastovka. Lavender is a well-known beauty, unique for its beautiful scent and its wonderful color. Wooden wardrobes used to keep potent smells of lavender in, and when the washing would be put out to be dried, the air would spread that smell even more, so you'd feel like you're in heaven. Lavanda se upotrebljava u mnoge svrhe, mm -hmm. od kozmetike, od recimo u sapunima, za, do čisto kao 
aromaterapija, recimo kad imate glavobolji, da bolji san, da bolje se spava. Može se upotrebljavati direktno na koži, ne smeta i može se, čak i djeca recimo u neke svrhe mogu upotrebljavati lavandu, ona nije toliko agresivna. A kaže se da je hvarska lavanda po mirisu i taj cvijet koji imamo u ovim vrećicama, on ima jači miris nego ona provanzalska. Da, 